Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to new custom room that is Evolution X which is being created by Pranav KPR and again this is based on Android 10. So from now onwards you will be seeing all the custom uh, room related videos in part. So this is a part 1 video where we will only be focusing on the installation part. So let's start with this. So on my screen you are able to view that this is a evolution x custom row and with the android version 10 let me tap it here voila so again this is a ported rom from the pixel 4 so you can enjoy the pixel 4 but pixel 4 os rom on your asus zenfone max pro m1 and apart from this this is the actual version that is version uh, 3.4 and which was launched on 8th of december and the best thing is that it's having the 5th December 2019 security patch. Again, Google Play system update 10 and so on. So let's start with the installation process. For that, I have to boot into my recovery mode. So again, this particular ROM does provide us few other options. So uh, I've just tapped on power after what advanced and now I'm just directly booting into the recovery. So let me, my, let me put my phone aside and let's move to the another part. So let's start with the further step. So for that we have to discuss few things like how to install this particular thing, how to download the ROM and so on. So for that I have already created a dedicated article on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below. So let's proceed with that. So firstly I have mentioned the link for downloading the ROM. So you can just tap on it and you can download it. Afterward there is no uh, need of flashing the GF separately because this ROM already can, uh, includes GF. Afterward. Uh, you can you need magics although this is optional but you can download it and this is the la latest version we have already provided you the link for the same and again uh, this particular room already include google camera 5 but if you want to enjoy google camera 7 so we have already provided you the link everything is working except the slow motion apart to this uh, there are a few prerequisites so let's discuss those so firstly you have to back up your data you, you should charge your phone at least 50 percent or more but i will recommend to have at least 80 percent or more afterward you should be on your latest uh, firmware so basically at present it is version 059 maybe down the road in next two to three days you might be seeing version 060 so you should also install that before uh, flashing this because that will surely benefit you afterward bootloader should be unlocked twrp custom recovery should be installed if you are not familiar we have provided you the video for the bootloader unlocking afterward tw uh, how to install twrp recovery and so on and finally the installation of evolution x 3.4 rom using twrp where you have to format data wipe cache dalvik data in system and afterward install the or flash the evolution x 3.4 rom afterward just reboot the phone and last but not least just enjoy the beauty of evolution x 3.4 rom on your asus zenfone max pro m1 phone lastly we need some support from your side so we are already available on youtube facebook twitter instagram and blog so you should subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us to create more videos like this in the coming future so now now let's jump into the installation part so we have already booted into the recovery mode so as per my article, I have uh, mentioned you that firstly, we have to format data for that. I have to tap on wipe afterward. You will see advanced wipe format data. You have to tap on format data afterward. It will ask type yes to con continue or to confirm. Yes, for sure. Afterward, just tap on this blue button and now the formatting data will start and it will do it hardly takes two to three seconds. Afterward, just tap on back again back afterward. You have to move to advanced wipe. And inside that you have to uh, uh, like select four different partition. One is Dalvik, another is cache, then data and system. So afterward, uh, you just have to swipe to flash or I would say swipe to wipe. And again, it will take two to three seconds. And afterward, you will see prompt updating partition details done and so on. Afterward, you have to move back again, back again, back. Now you have to install the room. So you just have to tap on install button. Afterward, you have to uh, tap on select storage. And here you will see bunch of options like internal storage. So we can't keep data in internal. So there, there are only two options. Either you will be selecting using OTG that is USB OTG or either micro SD card. So at my side, it is micro SD card. Okay. And afterward you, you can uh, view like you can go to any folder where you have kept that particular downloaded ROM. So I have kept in this and this is my evolution X 3.4. And afterward you just have to swipe to confirm flash. 
So now the installation process will start. So let me show you a few basic things. As this is a basic, like this is a ported ROM, so you can see target Google Walleye, Walleye 8.1, OPM, and so on. So in like the dedicated custom ROMs like Pixel Experience Havoc OS, there they mention are uh, like keys uh, like version 058, 059, and so on. And apart from this, uh, it has been created by Pranav uh, PKR. So Android version 10, then build ID, build date that is. Uh, 8th of December uh, 2019 at 10.18 then security patch of 5th December 2019 and so on. So installation process has just started. So we'll proceed afterward. So finally the uh, ROM installation process has completed. Now you are, have, you are presented with two different options. One is wipe cache Dalvik or reboot. I always recommend to wipe cache and Dalvik. So just swipe to wipe it. Voila. Now we are good to go with the reboot system. Now actual phone setup process will be started and afterward you will directly be able to boot to the login screen. So just to cut down time, I'll be uh, creating the or uh, I'll be fastening this process uh, and afterward we'll see uh, the actual home screen. Voila. So finally we have been booted into the Evolution X. So their logo or I would say their logo animation is really nice. You can even enjoy that. When you will be installing it and afterward use it, I can. I I, I want to add one more thing. Uh, there is only a like a, a one worst thing that I have uh, noticed in this particular room. It's related to again ideal battery drainage. I am not sure why it's been giving in each and every uh, room, but you can try and you can provide your feedback on the same as well. Wow! So finally, phone setup process has been started. Let me fast on this process and afterward. Now again checking for update in the background and so on. It will install any pending updates uh, most probably related to Google Play services and so on. So please have a patient while uh, implementing these steps. Now let's move to the another part. So I'm just uh, going to start with the fresh uh, as in fresh device. So again it is checking info now verifying the previous pain. So you should remember because again it is sort of cust uh, like factory reset and so on so at this moment I'm just skipping this part so that I can cut down the time so all in all whenever you will be installing this particular room and afterward using it you will surely feel the uh, like the premium type of feeling so let me just enter it and uh, complete it as soon as I can so I'm just going to skip although fingerprint is also working fine we will be creating a dedicated part second part third videos on this particular room so all in all you will see a bunch of new things from our side in the coming days voila so finally we have been booted to the uh, i would say evolution x so earlier i have shown you again i can uh, go to the same part and i'll confirm you voila so same thing so so this was all from our side related to evolution x custom rom on asus, asus zenfone max pro m1 with part one that is installation part we'll again come back with the part two in coming one or two days so stay tuned till that. So hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.